Hi everyone, welcome to Clear Vision 2020 video number two in our series uh, dealing with the basics of learning and the psychology of learning. Uh, I'm going to start off by talking about study preparation. It's a little deal but a very big deal. Uh, I've been a student and I know how sometimes <laughs> we may wait until a, a week before the test before we start really studying what we should have been studying for the entire semester. Or we may wait until the night before the exam and think that we can just learn everything we need to for that test. And maybe we go in and we take that test and we do okay. But the problem is that's called power cramming. And it's a proven fact that when somebody has crammed for an exam, as soon as we walk out the door, that information is gone. Now, how is that a negative? Well, when we go out there looking for a job, we're, we're, we're going to school for a purpose, to better our lives. So we go out there for a job and perhaps they ask us some questions that we're on, on that exam or we're taught in that course. If we power crammed, we are going to be in a little bit of trouble during that interview. So it may impact getting hired or maybe getting a promotion or just doing your job out there. Uh, I want to touch on a few other areas that are really critical in uh, the basics of learning. Uh, first one being vocabulary. Knowing vocabulary is, is very, very important. Know the language. Know, know the, uh, not only just our general language, but the language of the area that you're going into. Uh, meaning of words is it can make or break what you're trying to do. Uh, for instance, in the area of law, if you're trying to prove a case, when a lawyer is trying to prove a case, he has to submit the facts, but he also has to submit the law that applies to those facts. And if, if any of the, the, the vocabulary is not correct, mm -hmm. he may have a loser. So it can be that important. Um, sentence structure is very important in, in both studying and in test taking, uh, when we look at a paragraph, the first, par the first sentence in a paragraph tells us what the, the paragraph is going to be about. We jump to the last sentence in that paragraph. It wraps up the information that we just talked about. Everything in between is filler. It's color language uh, and may or may not have any great import. What I, the reason I'm talking about this is, yes, learn the material, but when we're on a test, sometimes we're under, uh, under the clock, or we're on a clock. And if you, if you feel that, go to that first sentence, go to the last sentence, you probably have the concept of what's going on uh, within that paragraph. Names of parties, names of people, names of things are important. Robert, as you're going to be talking about Robert's uh, world of, of mathematics, Things are very important. Mm -hmm. you're, you're constantly computing things, right? Uh, you may call them names, but... <laughs> um, concepts and theories. Um, Robert's going to be talking about that, how to conceptualize. Uh, similarities and differences. Very, very important in our world, uh, in both studying and in uh, test taking. Uh, quite often, we're, we're asked to compare two or more things or people or events or what have you, whatever fits the, the scenario. We have to be able to differentiate those things from each other. On the flip side, sometimes we have to determine that the, the, the problem that we're given on the test may ask us to find similarities in things, similarities in, similarities in what happened. Um, where I've seen this really, really uh, play out is in exams such as the TOEFL. The TOEFL is an English competency exam for immigrants who are seeking to go to university and haven't had the benefit of a junior college education. In California, TOEFL is also required for many professional licenses such as uh, LVN, Licensed Vocational Nursing, mm -hmm. and others. Uh, that said, Robert, you want to Thank you, John. Uh, hi, everyone. Before uh, I start, I want to, again, like last time, go over some statistics. Just uh, try to make this simple because, again, our goal is to help students who have been in the profession for more than uh, 20, 20 to 25 years combined, you can say 50 years. So how to help students to earn 
a bachelor degree. So what is a bachelor degree? Ba a bachelor degree is 120 to 130 semester units okay. or 180 to 195 quarter units. Now semester is 16 weeks and quarter is 10 weeks, depending on the school you attain, attend. These are like 40 college courses and I can even make it simple. I can say it's about 40 to maybe 60 books. So you have to learn. And then when I say you have to learn, learning is not reading because most of the people read on average, uh, a person reads about 12 books per year. Mm -hmm. When you read a book, it's different. You get the material, some of it you forget, and then you just catch the important parts of it, the, the parts that are interesting for you. However, learning is different. Learning needs time. That's why to complete these 40 college courses, you need about four years. So the reason is it's four years because you need the time to learn and taking take tests. Now I had a professor, I just remember that, uh, used to tell me, first think of learning, then think of your grade. If you learn, then the grade is going to come automatically. And I used mm -hmm. to uh, laugh at that time. I said, oh, I want my A. What do you mean learn? I just yeah. want to get an A. However, I strongly believe in that. Now, we have math and science that uh, math is uh, my expertise and uh, we have non-math courses, uh, English communication, uh, uh, speech writing, these are uh, your expertise and I really like your explanation. When you think about it, it's, they're very similar. On our next video, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, how to study math, what is mathematics about and how can you do well on a math exam. So mm -hmm. the details, we can probably share that uh, on our next uh, video. But uh, it is very possible. Uh, we, I see a lot of students, they're, they are very smart, but they're lost and then they don't know how to study. So this is what we want to do in our uh, future videos. Once you learn the material, then how to take tests. And that's where we're going to come in. Uh, just want to, do you want to add anything, John? Um, well, just to, to highlight uh, some of the uh, non-math uh, courses that we're offering. Um, I'm going to, excuse my back here, I just want to refer to this up here. We have proficiency workshops in TOEFL, uh, GRE, SAT, and uh, uh, then we, we're really, uh, over the next 16 to 20 weeks, we're going to be talking about the psychology of learning and the psychology of studying. Uh, many elements there. We've identified 16 areas of concern that any one of which can uh, make or break us in our, our uh, choices. Communication workshops uh, include, well, communication workshops are very important for a couple of reasons. Texting has reduced mm -hmm. the ability of people to speak face to face. And even though a lot of uh, business and, and uh, interaction is carried on in the uh, social media or the internet or the phone, we still need to be able to communicate face to face. If you're on the job, you're not going to be able to sit there and text your boss who's standing right across the room from you or right across the desk from you. Uh, reading, writing, listening is a critical skill that we will help you with. How, listening is probably the most difficult skill for people to uh, learn because we're not taught to listen these days. We're, we're taught to just regurgitate but we don't take in. So it's, it's, a, it's a big area. Um, also critical thinking is another area that uh, we like to focus on because reasoning skills are very very important in mm -hmm. today's yes. job market uh, and just getting along in life. Also, we have job search workshops for those graduates who need some help in, in uh, going out there and getting that job. We'll work with you on the 52 stupid questions you're going to be asked. We'll be the interviewer that you like and the interviewer you don't like because you don't know what you're going to encounter. In other words, it's a, it's a boot camp. Uh, last but not least, 
uh, we offer paralegal uh, courses, uh, law courses to help those folks who are uh, seeking to be paralegals. Um, we invite you to comment on uh, what you've heard today and where we're going with our series. As you can see, it's an informal format. Uh, we, we, Robert and I are educators with close to 50 years experience. We just want to help you. Thank you. Please subscribe. Again, as John said, write comments, any topics you're interested for us to do research or talk about it, let us know. Thank you.